How's it going and welcome to Deck Ready. And in today's video, instead of reporting on other people's news that they found, we have some news of our own because joining me today is Royce, the editor of a lot of the videos here on Deck Ready and also the recipient of the second Steam Deck. So please stop asking in the comments. He was given the Steam Deck to do amazing work with and uh, I'll just let you explain what you got running on this thing because it's crazy. First, it's actually cool to be on this side of the camera <laughs> instead of uh, behind editing. Um, but but yeah, so when you gave me the Steam Deck, uh, it was right around the time where I've been diving headfirst into learning Unreal Engine, specifically right now, Unreal Engine 5. Um, and I got really curious as far as if it could actually be used on the Steam Deck and for what purposes, how far can you push it? Um, long story short, uh, not too far, but I was able to get it installed on it, which was really cool. It took an extremely <laughs> long time to actually get it running. Uh, I actually watched this video by uh, this guy Decryption on YouTube and he, I think he got it up and running like four hours. For me, it took like eight and a half. It was like an all day process. So what, what, it, what makes it take so long? Like I, I just, I don't, I've never installed Unreal Engine on anything. I don't know what the process is. Like what takes so long? Honestly, I don't fully know. I'm still learning everything. Like I started learning Unreal Engine like October of last year. So I'm still like only a few months in. So yeah, I'm still in that, the, the learning phase. Um, but it could be probably just the capabilities of the Steam Deck. But yeah, so it took me eight and a half hours. It quit on me like a couple times oh, wow. and I would have just quit on the whole process. But in the video, he says that if it does quit or does crash, uh, just restart the build and it'll continue off from where it left off. That's awesome because yeah. I installed EmuDeck, which is just like a program that installs a bunch of emulators for you, kind of configures all the controls, gets the ROM manager set up so it can add all of your ROMs to Steam, which is great. But sometimes it fails downloading some of the emulators and then you just run it again and it works, but you right. kind of feel a little weird about that. That's the interesting thing. Like if a Windows install fails, it fails and you right. start over. <laughs> but on Linux, you could just pick up where you left off and it's yeah. kind of cool. So that's interesting to hear is the same for a game development program instead of like an emulator setup. Yeah, no, absolutely. That's, again, if he didn't even mention that, I would have quit a long, long time ago into actually installing it. So when Royce told me he was able to get this running, he like sent me a video or text and I was like, holy this is awesome. The first thing that I immediately thought of was that demo that's been going around where someone actually got a Superman model into yeah. the Matrix Awakens demos city and they're flying around, they're breaking the sound barrier. It looks really cool. It's obviously not a full game. It's just like a flying around demo, but it looks awesome. So I was like, Royce, can you get this running? And you had like pretty Good luck overall. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Cause he actually provided the .exe file, which was great. So it, all, it was just a matter of throwing it on the Steam Deck and uh, through Steam, just adding it to Steam. Um, yeah, so I was actually able to install it pretty easy. You just have to add it to Steam through the Steam app in desktop mode. Um, but you know, then it doesn't have like pictures and stuff like that. You have to all add all that later, which I didn't bother with. I just wanted to see if it would run. Um, yeah, and I opened it up and he, there's two options when you actually get the game running. There's an op optimized mode that he provides and like the regular. So I just tried the opt uh, or the the more optimized one because I didn't think the full uh, res one was gonna work at all. But even the optimized one <laughs> was uh, it ran, but uh, we see Superman. Is yeah, Superman there and he can walk around? <laughs> yeah, he can walk around. He can fly. Um, there are no buildings <laughs> and there are no cars, but we see the people in the cars. So that counts for something. Yeah. And really, what this comes down to is um, the buildings, all the meshes used in that particular project that Unreal provided for everybody. Um, it uses their new technology called Nanite in Unreal Engine 5, which uh, again, I'm still trying to figure out the full details, but it has to do with something as, uh, with Nanite and Proton not really working together well at the moment, since you know it is a PC build and I haven't seen anyone build it for Linux specifically. I don't even think it's possible yet. Um, so yeah, so I think that's a big reason why. All right, so with the Superman build, we had like decent luck, I would say. Like, yeah. what, what do you what, what do you want to percentage wise it out of a hundred? <laughs> uh, I would say maybe 
I would give it a 70%. Just be- <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah, just That's pretty good for this team day. It, it worked. like two days on it, too. <laughs> right, so right. Where you had better luck, though, is with the Lyra demo. Is that what it's called? Yes, yeah. So um, Lyra is another pretty much a uh, package that Unreal Engine or Epic Games provides for free. The amount of, I just have to say this, the amount of things that Epic Games is giving us through Unreal Engine where we don't have to pay anything, I think is illegal. Like, this is crazy. Like, I'm not a game developer in any way. I don't code any of that. I just read up on Unreal Engine top of last year when they were first uh, throwing out the Unreal Engine 5 betas. I thought they were what they were doing was cool, mainly from the film perspective and like all the digital sets like the Mandalorian were utilizing and things like that. Um, they pretty much give you a lot of the tools if you're willing to put in the time to learn it. Anybody can learn how to make video games through a lot of the assets uh, that they provide in Engine. And so with the rele official release of Unreal Engine 5, they gave us this pre-made game called Lyra, which they are marketing as this like base third person shooter system that people can go into their tweak and make it their own. And it looks like a real game. Like yeah. you're using like crash test dummies, like that's what they kind of look uh -huh. like. But it has like this crazy voxel looking stuff. When you die, you like crumble yeah. into pieces. The graphics and the lighting are insane. Seeing how good this demo just looked running out of the box on the Steam Deck was crazy. So what you did, if I understand it right, is you packaged that up within Unreal Engine 5, created an EXE, put that on your Steam Deck, added it to Steam so it would run through Proton? Yes. Yeah, that's literally it. And I did this through, um, I packaged all this through a PC. I actually haven't tried, that's the next thing. I wanna try and do all of this through Unreal Engine 5 that I installed on the Steam Deck, but um, just for knowing what will actually work, um, I built it on a PC. I was gonna get to this in a second, but he took it a thousand steps roughly further and basically put me into the Lyra demo so you can play as a whole team of me's wearing <laughs> deck ready merch, which is crazy, that I designed. So it's actually really cool. I'm saying it like a joke, but I thought it was cool. And then you can kill a bunch of me's, which is even funnier. It looks awesome too, like the little, so Royce basically, you created these little versions of me, my friend Ray, who runs Xbox Ready, mm -hmm. and our friend Nicole, who uh, does a ton of stuff with the Nintendo Switch. And so we use those for transitions, right? And intros on the other yeah. channels. Mm -hmm. So how hard was it getting those little guys into deck ready third person shooter. <laughs> well, it was it was a little tricky. Um, pretty much what I did was I kind of combined a couple different assets, and like I said, it's it's criminal what Unreal just gives you. But um, through like literally their whole system is already made and built, so now it's about just going in there and and tinkering. So the big thing was just okay, how do I swap out the the Unreal mannequin characters that they have as placeholders? And so, um, yeah, the, the characters I was using for the transitions was from this website called Ready Player Me, where, um, again, another site for free, just everything's free right now, it's crazy, um, where you can customize your character, you can upload either a headshot of yourself, um, and it'll try and create like this cool stylized character as close to you as possible. And it actually does a pretty good job, I think. Um, or you can just go in and customize from scratch. And that's what I've been using for a lot of the transitions on the different channels. Now, the only thing is, the way those characters were rigged, it wasn't really playing nice with um, the game and the setup and the, the the rigs of the Unreal mannequins and things like that. And I didn't have time to try and figure out all that stuff. I'm sure there's a way to make it work, but I was trying to figure out a system where I could just drop in a character, make it look like you, and it just worked flawlessly. So what I did was, um, I still liked the, the faces that Ready Player Me um, creates. So I pretty much just took the heads of the Ready Player Me characters and then I utilized these ad sets from the Unreal Marketplace, which is pretty much like their kind of like app store, but for Unreal Engine assets that you can buy from this creator called PoArt on the Unreal Engine Marketplace because um, he designs a lot of different styles and clothings and things like that you can just easily swap out. And it's rigged so it plays nice and plugs straight into Unreal Engine and the, how the whole system's already set up. So pretty much I used the uh, bodies, the modular body parts uh, from the PoArt characters, and then I just dropped the heads on from the Ready Player <laughs> Me characters, um, did some tweaking, and finally got it to run. <laughs> 
what Royce has done here is crazy, right? He's taken the Steam Deck, which is a portable PC. It's a handheld. He's installed Unreal Engine, right? That's crazy on its own. He's then taken these Unreal Engine games and he's packaged them up, got them running on the Steam Deck. Not only that, but they run well. And then he's created all of his own little characters to put into the game. And again, it runs really well. And the most important and craziest thing here about all of this is that he did this, what, did this in like less than a week? Yeah. Yeah, it's less, like three days. I want to say <laughs> is it like how long this has been. It's nuts. Yeah, like again, I'm not a game developer, but I was interested in what uh, Epic Games was providing with these tools, and it got me curious enough to just kind of dabble in it, see what I can do. They give you so many things, and then from there, it's just like, okay, I don't know how to build a third-person shooter arena game, but they are. I don't either. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't even know where to. Begin. I don't know how to build a game. <laughs> right, exactly. I don't even know how to make a character from scratch. Um, but they give you, they literally give you the game, and they're like, just like move some pieces around, do whatever you want. Change, you want to change a game mode? There's a way to do that. You want to change the characters? You want to change uh, effects, guns, and things like that? Or if you just want to keep it as is and pretty much just do what I did uh, uh, right now anyway, and just keep the base system and then just throw your own character in there, you can do that. And then you can package it and then release it. <laughs> it's crazy. So since Royce was able to package this up as an EXE, we are including it in the description. Obviously, it's mostly just the game that Epic includes with Unreal, but if you want to run around in a video game as a bunch of little versions of me and kill a bunch of versions of me, it'd be pretty cool. So yeah, the link is down in the description there. So once you've got the game downloaded and ready to go, it's put where you want it to be. Make sure you go to Steam, like the actual app on the desktop side of SteamOS, bottom left corner, Corner, there's a, like a little plus button, but yeah, you can play the first official deck ready game and it, hopefully it's a sign of more things to come. Right, yeah, no, this is just the beginning. I do want to note too though, when you actually get it in Steam, if you go to uh, the settings the prop and the properties uh, for, uh, for this game, you want to force it to use Proton, but you want to use Proton 7 um, because it, defaults to Proton Experimental, and for whatever reason, that's not working. But I, when I switched it to Proton 7, it was working fine. But most importantly, if you want to keep up with all of the development Royce is doing with uh, Unreal Engine 5, where can we find you? What's the best place to keep up with this? Yeah, uh, mainly uh, my Instagram. I'm at Roro Beckley. I'm on all the other platforms too, but Instagram is where I actually <laughs> post. <laughs> but I'm at Roro Beckley across the board on, just search me on anything and I'll probably come up.